going on guys welcome back got another video here for you I'm gonna go over how to craft a workbench so you can build bases and some of the server changes I made now one thing I want to get out of the way is for you guys that don't like the trader you think it takes away from the game which I agree it definitely can um, I've made the items from the mod spawn in the world excuse me um, and all your native items still spawn in the world in fact I left them at default values the um, only thing I increased was certain things like food, um, purification tablets, tetra, so you can drink clean water, don't get sick, you know, some minor things there, and, and building materials I upped because they're too hard to find. So if you want to play a native experience without the trader, you can still do that. Just don't go to the trader. You want to use the trader, that's fine. Um, what brought me about this was I made an, another character um, it's actually he's actually called Mad Drake this is actually Sly Drake Sly Drake's my admin character I just didn't change the name here yet and logged in on the PC um, and I played him without or I play him period without the community online tools because I use this to monitor players make sure they're not cheating how loot's working and I can also spawn items if I want um, but <laughs> spawning items doesn't tell me how the server is running I can use you know the program to check loot and all that so I had decided to make another character and he's called Mad Drake as I said um, and he doesn't have that program so I started on the beach geared myself up and played like you guys and so far from what I see looks pretty good the loot's good gear up pretty quick and I use trader a little bit here and there um, you can definitely progress faster if you do the activities like fishing, farming, farming uh, medical leaf, <laughs> um, and hunting, so you can make money pretty quick. If anything, the trader prices probably need to go up some. I haven't decided yet. I'm not done quick uh, tweaking on those so play how you want you still have the option to avoid the trader just don't go there it's that simple uh, you can play the native game if you want it's still going to have modded items spawning in the world granted but you can play it more survival ish without the trader all right i'm rambling on let's get on to this um so the workbench kit First off, you can find it in the world like this. I have it spawning in the world and on the trader. Now it's not going to do you any good without the book. Take the book, just add it to it, hit read, and you can build anything you want. Okay? You can build a separate base all you want or add two bases or add to native buildings for that matter there's plenty in here it's a great mod and you can fold it up it doesn't require a screwdriver like the mud stuff pack to break it down alright now if you can't do not find the kit in the world you find one of these books combine planks like this easy peasy 
there you got a workbench kit. And it gives you the book back, so you can place it on the bench. The other way, that took six planks by the way. This one I believe takes five. Combine it with a permit. Voila, another one. Another one. You're still going to need the book regardless. You can buy the workbench, the uh, crafting book, and the permit that I had in here on the uh, trader also. So it's not a problem. You can see, you can just fold this back down as long as you don't have any items in the inventory. I'm going to clean this mess up anyhow. Alright. Try to run around and do a little shooting zombies. Well, nobody's on right now, which is good because it's early morning. There's just three on. Okay, um... I did up the server from 10 to 20 slots. I'm not done. Probably will go higher. Vehicles. Um, make sure you interact with them within 30 days. And I say interact doesn't mean just open the door and close the door. Get in it, start it up. Just probably move it a little bit to be safe. Okay? Because I've got it set where they despawn after 30 days, they're not used. That way the vehicles aren't clogging up the server that aren't being used and making our performance worse. Alright. Um, MMG pouches for this gear. For the chest piece, all these pouches, any of these pouches, even the knife sheath. Um, and the holster. When you find chess piece in the world or the belt, I increase the chance of pouches, night sheaths, etc. Um, being attached to these. Same with the helmet. Because what I notice is playing it without being able to spawn items on my other character is that you find chess pieces with one pouch maybe you know um, and then you have to either go to the trader and buy, buy them or find them then you find different colors and you mix match so I wanted you guys to have a better chance of finding the full set close to the full set at least closer alright items I added to the trader Here's the list. Purification tablets to clean your water. NBC mask and filter. Added fishing hook. The base building plus cement and mortar. The cement mixer and workbench. And more of these goggles and colors. Because they come in different frame color and lens color and the default knife sheath as far as this knife sheath on the belt it was already on there I reworked all trader prices um, that took literally three plus hours easily I'm not done tweaking them. If anything, they're probably a little too low because you can progress pretty fast with the trader. Now, I'm not done playing with the other character. That's how I'm testing. Just started at the beach and we'll play just like you guys. Let's 
So I'll keep testing with him, see where to go with the trader prices. I'm trying to make it a challenge, but also decent progression. And again, if you don't want to use a trader, it doesn't matter. Because you can still find what you need in the world without it. Alright, um, I did some fixes on Trader. There were some errors in there from default values. Love this gun. It's a good gun. With a damage suppressor. I'm not fixing that right now, guys. Okay, um, chemical injector. Which is the, I want to say it's P-O-X? Okay, yeah. Um, for contaminated areas. Okay, by default it wasn't on the trader. Because the trader mod came out before that came into DayZ. And the only way you could get it, the way DayZ had it spawning, was one would spawn only in contaminated areas <gasps> which is uh, kind of stupid <laughs> alright so what I did was I added that to the trader and set it to spawn in medical areas so that way for you guys that want to go to the best loot in the chemical areas just get you a mask and NBC gear. I've, as I said in prior videos, I made these spawn more. You can buy them on the trader. Same here. These spawn more. These spawn spawn more, and you can buy them on the trader. Not a problem at all. Added more, much stuff packed containers. Let's see. show you the best way to do it. Give me a second here. Guys, be patient. I'll show you what I did add to the trader that wasn't on there. There's a reason why I don't have all these item on there, items on there because the mod did not come with a trader file. So I just been slowly but surely, surely adding them. There's a lot in here. Alright, I added that to the trader. Storage box. A lot of these items were already on there. Good gosh. There's so much in here. So much. Added the safe to the trader that can be code locked. Put your money in, put your wheat seeds in, whatever you want to put. And the workbenches, I believe I already had those added. I want to add these, but they only come in a kit, or they don't come in a kit. So it's a very large item to carry around. You can find them in the world though. I believe that's the only much stuff pack items I added. In any case. And that is it. Alright. As I've explained before in prior videos, this is a very server info specifically. I change the way I do things. I used to put in here behind the mods what I changed. I changed that completely. In the server info tab I put in what you can make doing different activities and right here server changes. Every time I make changes I put the date and what I did. Once it starts to fill up I'll just delete the older ones. Okay. I also any changes I make, I make videos on it. So it's covered here and covered there. 
and then I have an Instagram which I don't go over the changes that's just more of um if you guys got any comments suggestions you can use this or my YouTube videos or in game chat for that matter if I'm on Sly Drake or Mad Drake Zone or FFS Bud Mana Zone um he's kinda like my part admin and um he helps me out with things to look out for for the server. So you guys got any comments, suggestions, you know how to do it. I appreciate you. Uh, let me know what's going on. If there's something you don't like about the server, you guys got to let me know. I'm not a mind reader. I need some help. Uh, I want to be one of the best servers. And I want a good YouTube channel too on top of it. But mostly it's for the server. This gun is deadly. Yeah, buddy, I know you're over here. Is he inside? There you are. This is why I suck at PvP. Alright, uh, one last thing. Um, 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 um. Okay, so this is my Sly Drake character. You know it says Mad Drake here. Because um, I haven't changed the name since I logged in from the last character. Sly Drake is my admin character that I monitor players, make sure they're not cheating on the server, check the loot using ESP, etc. Mad Drake doesn't have the tool these tools. I don't have him on the list for it. And he's not going to have them. Um, he's my tester. See what it's like to play on the server without being able to spawn items. So just keep that in mind. That's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe. Come play on the server. Later.